what should you do if a medical procedure authorization request has been denied? Both the Department of Labor and Industries and the self-insured employers deny a lot of medical and diagnostic procedure requests that they receive. This is how the defense keeps the costs of claims down, hoping that the injured worker won't fight for their rights. If this happens to you, obviously you should consult an experienced LNI attorney because the specific legal counsel appropriate in your case may be variable depending on your facts. But in general, if you are denied authorization under the LNI system and you have private health insurance still in place, do not delay your health care. Use the authorization denial letter to show your medical provider and collateral health insurance company that the service requested by your doctor has been denied. That will then require the private health care insurance company to cover the service even though we all understand that it should really be covered by your workers' compensation claim. Don't take no for an answer. Then file a written protest to the authorization denial within 60 days of when you receive that. It's best to do it well short of the 60-day deadline because protests filed close to the deadline may be harder for you to prove later in court. In any event, go get the medical care you need immediately so that your recovery isn't prolonged or made less likely by suffering a substantial delay and then hire an experienced workers' compensation attorney to fight for your medical care to be covered under your LNI claim. One quick word of warning. If the medical care you seek is denied as not being proper and necessary under the Department of Labor and Industries rules, and then you go have it anyway and obtain a terrible result, it will be much more difficult or impossible for you to prove in court that it was improperly denied in the first place. So, if a surgery is denied and you go forward with it anyway before litigating whether it is your right to receive that surgery, you must do everything in your power to rehab to the fullest extent afterwards. Because any failure to obtain at least a partially positive benefit from the surgery will potentially prevent a court from ordering payment for that procedure under the LNI system. If you have questions about diagnostic tests or treatment that has been denied, your inquiry is too technical to be answered only by this short website video. For that reason, you should now contact the experienced LNI attorneys of Washington Law Center today.